Good morning, everyone. It's such an honor to be joining you today. I'm Mark O'Brien with the Rx Abuse Leadership Initiative of Oregon, or Rally Oregon. I previously served as the Director of Opioid Overdose Prevention for Baltimore City and Executive Vice President of Addiction Policy Forum. And I had the privilege of working with so many dedicated law enforcement officers in both of those roles. So I'm very happy to be here with you today. I want to thank the Oregon Association of Chiefs of Police for bringing us together today and giving me a few minutes to tell you about Rally. I also want to thank everyone participating in this symposium for your interest and efforts to address what I think is one of the most significant problems in our country, the addiction crisis. Given the anxiety, stress, and isolation our society is facing during this time, it should come as no surprise that COVID-19 has triggered a significant increase in mental health problems and substance use disorders for people of all ages. And the challenges of addiction were already quite large to begin with. The Recovery Research Institute at Harvard University says nearly one in 10 Americans is in recovery from the disease of addiction. And the Oregon Health Authority estimates that 18% of the population in Oregon is in recovery. Addiction costs Oregon $6.7 billion a year. That's 17% of the state's annual budget. And Oregon ranks 47th out of 50 in access to addiction treatment. And I think that's something we really should be paying attention to and doing everything we can to address. Now, most tragically, opioids were involved in 46,802 overdose deaths in 2018. Nearly 70% of all overdose deaths in our state. It's easy to get lost in the numbers. We all work in data-driven uh, organizations and on data-driven efforts. Um, we can think a lot about the numbers, but I think it's important to remember that every one of the lives we lose represents somebody's father or mother, son, daughter, sister, brother, a friend, a neighbor. It's really a newly empty seat at someone's dinner table. Now, one of the things I've had the privilege to do over the years is to work with dozens of state and local communities to develop community-wide plans for responding to addiction. And I'm a firm believer that this crisis both affects all of us and gives all of us a chance to be a part of the solution. There really is a role for everyone to play. So much of the burden of responding to addiction and drugs has historically fallen on law enforcement. But I think society is really waking up to the reality that law, law enforcement is one part of the solution, but can't be asked to do everything by itself. That's why I've been excited to get involved with Rally. The Rx Abuse Leadership Initiative of Oregon brings together state, local, and national organizations who share the common goal of combating the opioid epidemic. We represent communities across the state that have been impacted by this crisis, including employers, veterans, children, rural Oregonians, healthcare providers, and law enforcement, among others. And Rally has been working to turn the tide of the opioid crisis for several years. We convene national, state, and community leaders to exchange best practices and provide resources that help prevent misuse of prescription medicines. We focus on educating the public about preventing opioid misuse, spotting warning signs, and talking to a loved one if you suspect a problem with substances. We work hard to connect partner organizations who provide resources and support to each other and to the community. A big part of our education efforts has focused on medication safety and safe disposal of medications. Rally Oregon promoted National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, and our partners have distributed medication disposal pouches to communities across the state. The Deterra drug disposal pouches we distribute are a great tool for families who want to prevent prescription drug misuse and who may not want to wait for a drug pack take back day or have access to a drop off location. So this is a great way for people to get unused medications out of their home right when they're ready to do it. And they're really easy to use. You just put the unused medications in the pouch, add a little water and shake it up. And the activated charcoal that's already in that bag deactivates the drugs in just a few seconds and it's it's environmentally safe so uh, once that process has been completed in just a few seconds you can throw it in the trash can and, and send it uh, out with the rest of your trash another part of our education efforts 
has been events with the Rally Cares trailer. The trailer is a, a project with our partners at Code 3. It's a simulation of a teen's bedroom that former law enforcement officers use to educate parents and other concerned adults about the signs of addiction and what they can do if they're worried about a young person in their family or in their community. Now, we can't take the trailer around the country right now because of the, the coronavirus, uh, uh, you know, keeping so many of us at home right now. But I highly encourage you to check out the virtual trailer by going to the Rally Oregon website at rally, R-A-L-I hyphen O-R dot org and click on Rally Cares. So I just want to close now with a big thank you to OACP and to all the chiefs for giving me a few minutes of your time this morning. I hope the symposium continues to be a great success. We've been honored to be able to be a sponsor and to be a partner to OACP, and we look forward to continuing to work together to address the opioid crisis. Thank you so much.